Good morning. Yes. Um, I don't think I need a mic. Praise God. My mom going, uh uh. <laughs> Whew. To God be all the glory. Yes. 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 To God be all the glory. All the glory. Come on. Y'all, guess what? We live now. Yes. As Oprah said, you know, we married. No, we live now. Yeah, 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 yeah. But whether we were live or not, we bless God. Yes. Hallelujah. You know, um, Several people have said, you know, it must be a powerful word that's got to come forth <laughs> that the enemy wants to shut down everything. Come but you now. know what? He's a liar. Yeah. And you know what? I'm not even even going. So, you know, let's just take that back. We had some te technical difficulties. Um, but to God be the glory. They're yeah. straight. Yeah. And we were going to go on with or without life. Yes. Yeah. Because the word never changes. Come on, man. The word is still the same and yes. before all of this technology, we still had the word. Come on, man. The word does not the word is forever. Yeah. That's all yes. The word in the beginning was a word. The word was with God and the word is God. Come on. So God never changes. His word never changes. And so we're gonna keep going on. Yes. So um I just wanna Thank God for the opportunity um, to stand before you. I, I don't take it for granted, and I, I don't take it lightly. Um, and normally, when I stand here, I'm very nervous. Um, and I'm going to just give you a little moment of transparency. I'm nervous because I would always try to fix it up or, you know, go by what I heard or, you know, Lord, I want to make sure I sound okay or, or you know what, um, I've always been afraid to stand up here because, um, we real, I broke a tooth. So I'm worried about folks going to see my tooth. And you know what, you know what, I don't care. Yeah, man. Come on, man. You see the missing tooth? To God be the glory. I don't care. Because you know what folks going to do anyway is talk. Yes, yes. They gonna talk if you're fat, if you're skinny, if you're light, if you're dark, if you're black. If they gonna find something to say. Come on, man. But today, let me tell you, I'll I'll say, God, you know, Holy Spirit lives in us, and I think a lot of times we take that for granted mm. because we gotta learn to pull on the Holy Spirit. Yes. And so, um, I said, God. You know, it's always my desire that when I stand before your people, that one, I have something that you've given me to say. Mm -hmm. Two, that I don't, this is flesh, embarrass my church or my pastor. Come on now. And so I said, Lord, I, I, I don't know. I was like, God, I know you're real. Mm -hmm. And I know Holy Spirit is real. So I was like, God, please show me what to say. Mm -hmm. And you know how pastor always say the message is for you first? Um, God woke me up about, it was six something Wednesday morning. Mm. And what I heard loud and clear is, do you know who you are? Mm. And I was like, huh? Do you know who you are? And I was like, okay. And he kept talking. I was like, wait, wait a minute. Girl, I, I got a piece of paper and I got a pen and I'm just writing. The time I finished, God had downloaded like four pages. And so God is like, Doreen, do you know who you are? Do you know what I've placed inside of you? Do you know how strong you are? Do you know the authority that I have placed in you? And so I was like, who? This is good, but then I was like, who? You're talking to me. <laughs> you know how could we be like, okay, God, okay, I could do, you know, I could do this. And then I was like, but do I really know who I am? Come on, man. And so, you know, we quote all these things. I can do all things through Christ. And you know, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made, and I know who I am, and I know whose I am. I'm the head and not the tail. But do you really, really know who you are? 
And you know, so um, I'm not just talking outside of my face. I got some scripture. <laughs> so um, let me give you the first scripture I have is 1 Corinthians 3.16. And this is coming from the New King James Version. It says, do you not know that you are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in you? We forget that. Mm -hmm. Do you not know that we are the temple of God? And so um, I was like, wow, we are the temple of God and the spirit of God dwells in us. Mm -hmm. And then 2 Corinthians 5, 20 and 21, I went to the Amplified because sometimes the amplified cap mm, teeth get away. Amplified, amplified classic breaks it down a little better. Mm -hmm. So 2 Corinthians 5, 20 and 21 says, So we are Christ's ambassadors. God making his appeal as it were through us, we, as Christ's personal representatives, beg you for his sake to buy hold of the divine favor now offered you and be reconciled to God. For our sake, he made Christ virtually to be sin, who knew no sin, that in and through him we might become endued with, viewed as being in, and examples of the righteousness of God. What we ought to be approved and acceptable and in right relationship with him by his goodness. So, first one says, we are the temple of God. Now he's telling us we are the righteousness of God, mm -hmm. which means we're in right standing with God. Uh -huh. As a believer, you're in right standing with God. Although sometimes we mess up, we're human. But if you have accepted Christ as your Lord and Savior, you are the righteousness of God. Mm -hmm. And you are in right standing. And then here's the scripture that we love to say. Psalms 139, 14. I will praise you, for I am fearfully mm -hmm. and wonderfully made. Marvelous are your works, and that my soul knows very well. So, I've told you that you're the temple of God. We're ambassadors. We're righteousness. And that we're fearfully and wonderfully made. But do you know who you really are? And how much power and authority you have? Let me tell you something. I like the Avengers. I like Marvel. So if you got kids, my kids and my grandson got me into Marvel Avengers. So the last one was the Avengers Endgame. I want to challenge you as saints of God. We in the Endgame, y'all. Mm -hmm. We in the Endgame. Mm -hmm. And um, we got to come together. You know, doing one Bible study we were studying and I said, does anybody have a prayer request? And Brother Leon said, unity. Mm. That's it. We have got to come together. No more division. It's one Lord, one faith, one baptism. Yeah. We're in the end game, y'all. It's time out for mess, jump. We're in the end game. These truly are the last and evil days. We are in the end game. And, um, my favorite part of the scene in Endgame is when all of the Avengers come back together and Captain America says, Avengers, assemble. So I'm saying, God is saying, body of Christ, Christians, assemble. It's time to come together. Know who you truly are. We got to love one another. You know, it, it's, it's just time out for the division and us talking about each other and us saying things. Yes. We in the end game, y'all. Yes. We in the end. Christ is soon to come. You see stuff going on yes. daily. Yes. Yes. You know, I, I, I saw a commercial before we came. Uh, these people are selling food that lasts 25 years. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I was like, what? Yeah, because they're preparing to hunker down, go in hiding, so they're going to have food for their families. Mm. I was like, what the what? But if you don't know him, 
See, I look at it like this. It's a win-win. If you're a believer and he comes back today, you're going back with him. It's a win-win. We win here and we win there. Yeah. It's time out for trying to live for, you know, you know, I used to say, you know, one day I'm going one. When is one day? Stop saying one day. We are speaking beings. God spoke. We speak. And we have what we say. And it's because our daddy is, I am. So if he created us to be speaking beings, then I can have what I say. Mm -hmm. yes. And so um, I've been studying a lot on faith. And so um, a lot of you know, I haven't worked since June of 2018. And sometimes it gets a little rough. But um, I haven't missed a meal. Yeah. Because I'm going to tell you, even when I get down to my last, God shows up. Yes. God shows up. Because he said, I never see the righteous forsaken. Didn't we just say we the righteousness of God? Or my seed begging bread. Always. Always. You get a knock. You get a wonderful handshake. You get a beautiful card. God was like, I got you. He has been telling me that I got you. And so, um, I confess on a daily basis. My needs are met. My bills are paid on time. And I'm walking in abundance and overflow and I'm blessed to be a blessing. Am I there yet? But I'm going to confess it until I see it. And sometimes we give up too soon because we're confessing it. Lord, it ain't happened yet. Maybe he ain't mean for me to have it. Stop it. That's a lie. You confess it until you see it. Amen. I can't go by what I be, what I see. I got to go by what I believe. Uh -huh. And what I believe is the word of God. So if he said, I can have whatever I say. And if you don't believe it, go to Mark 11, 23 and 24. He'll tell you uh -huh. that whatever you pray, believe that you're going to receive it and you shall have it. Yes, yes. But you can't, you can't be praying a mess now. Like you can't pray stuff that goes against God's word. Yes. Now, you, you can't be praying for somebody else's man and somebody else's woman. That you, know, you can't have what you say, but that ain't going to work. That, that, that's not going to work. But if you pray according to his word, so that's my daily confession. And they were like, well, when, you know, well, when is it going to come? When it come, and I'm going to say it until I see it. And, you know, I'm like, I'm not going to change. And I'm not going to say like the other day I said, oh, Hair hurts. My son said, I don't say that. I said, mm -mm. Me saying that is not in faith. I said, Faith don't deny the fact that my hair hurts, but faith changes it because I believe by his stripes I'm healed yes. and I'm walking in divine health. Yes. So faith don't say, Yeah, your hair hurt. But what we mess up and say is, My head killing me. Oh. My back killing me. We say it. We have what we say. So I'm so trying to be mindful of what I say out my mouth because we have what we say. Do you know who you are? Do you know who you are, saints? And so we have to walk in who God created us to be. Now, our church is Abundant Life Christian Community Center. Are we really living the abundant life. You know, it says that um, he has come that we might have life and have it more abundantly. That's why in my confession I put, I'm walking in abundance and overflow and I'm blessed to be a blessing. Mm -hmm. It's no need having and you're not blessing. Yes. Yes. And when we give, yes. we get back. Uh -huh. You get the overflow. Mm -hmm. Do you know who you are? We got to, who know who we are. And the last scripture I had is John 14, 12. I'll give it to you in two versions. New King James says, most assuredly I say to you, he who believes in me, the works that I do, he will do also, and greater works than these he will do because I go to my Father. Amplified says, I assure you most solemnly, I tell you, if anyone steadfastly believes in me, he will himself be able to do the things that I do, and he will do even greater 
things. We have dominion, y'all. Yes. We have Adam lost it in the garden. When Jesus came, he restored it. Uh -huh. And when he left, he left the Holy Spirit, but he said, Greater works will you do. That's us. Uh -huh. Do you know who you are? It's time out. Look, I'm I'm truly this is for me, because I'm tired of tired of being scared. You know, and um for those of you know, I wrote a book, um, No Longer Walking in Fear, Walking. I thought it was the truth when I wrote it, but I was still walking in fear. And um we have these monthly ministry meetings and they are very insightful. And the last one my dear sister challenged me to go back and speak to that hurt little girl. And she was like, that's what God wants you to do. Go back and speak to that hurt little girl and watch what God does. So I heard it and I was like, mm, okay. But I did it. You know, because our childhood does affect our grown-up lives. Uh -huh. we, we've gone through some things, and we don't tell everybody what we've gone through, but it'll show up. It shows up. And so I went back to that hurt little girl, and I was like, I understand what happened. No, you didn't deserve it. You didn't ask for it. But God knew. Ain't nothing new under the sun. God knew what was going to happen. God knew everything. He knows the end from the beginning. But God gave me something this morning, and I broke down. And he said, I don't see you as you were, but as you are. Yes. You are mine. And every time you put yourself down, you're saying, I made a mistake. And I was like, no, what? Know what standards, no, what standards are you basing when you're putting yourself down? Like, you know, I was like, I got on a sleepless top, you know, I'm like, oh, my arms are too fat. Who told you that? Whose standards are you basing what you look like? Who, who, who told you that? And I was like, what do I say about you? Who do I say that you are? You are mine. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. Know who you are. Don't take down. And I was like, that's truly got me. And I started crying because I'm like, God, that is like a slap in your face. Every time I put myself down, I'm telling you, no, God, you ain't do something right. No. Yes, he did. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. I don't care what the world says about you. We are in this world, but we are not of this world. Yeah. Walk in who you are. Walk in who God truly made you to be. Mm -hmm. Hold your head up. Rise up, sons and daughters of the Most High God, and yeah. call those things that be not as though they were. Yeah. Yes. You are strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. Yeah. Know who you are. If you don't remember nothing else, Know who you are. You are his. You have been bought with a price. I love him today, y'all. I love him. He has given us so much. And you know, um, I heard this song. And it was like, God, don't you see all this stuff going on? All this killing? What you gonna do about it? Come on. And the words of the song said, God said, that's why I created you. Mm. And when I first heard it, I didn't get it. I'm like, what you mean? You created you, God. You know, we sit back and be like, Jesus, fix it. Fix it. Fix it, God. Don't you see I'm in trouble, God? Mm -hmm. Fix it. What you saying out your mouth? Come on now. What, what you saying? And that and when the song made sense then, that's why I created you. What are you saying? What are you speaking? What are you binding? What are you loosing? Or are you just sitting there going, Jesus, I'm waiting on you to fix it. Jesus. Ah. 
Jesus on the main line. I can't sing. Tell him what you want. Yeah, tell him. But after you tell him what you're doing, you're sitting back in your chair waiting for him to fix it. And he's waiting on you to do it. He's waiting on you to say it. Who are you? Time out. Time out. It's, it's easy to sit in the chair and be like, mm, I'm waiting on God. We ain't no gotta do what? On the cross, God said, it is finished. Oh, he done done everything he gonna do. What you doing? He's sitting on the right hand of the Father making intercession for us. What you doing? Both of y'all can't be sitting down. <laughs> Come on now, sis. Come on. Walk through. He is making intercession. What you doing? You are a speaking being. God said, let there be, and there was. He just said, greater works that he did, greater works we're going to do. So you better speak what you want to happen. I'm learning. I'm 63. I'm learning. Oh, I'm still a work in progress. I just don't want nobody younger than me to have to go through what I went through and don't delay right your blessings right because there. you don't know what you're saying out your mouth. Yes. We have hindered our own selves by what we have been speaking out our mouth. Oh, so now I'm conscious that even when I want to say it, and sometimes I say it, I'll be like, oh, okay, God, I take it back. I'm sorry. Be quick to repent when we say stuff yes. when you ain't got no business. Be quick to repent. Yeah. And get back in line. Get back in line. And get it right. Because the world is looking at us. Truly they are. And some of us, whoo, when the world sees us, even when I see some of us, we be like, what, what are you doing? So I'm like, check you. Check you first. Check yourself. Look at you. Look at what you're saying and what you're pouring out. And if somebody look at you, can they say, that's a child of God right there. Her light always shines. I know she's going through, but she's still always going to encourage. She's still going to lift up. Y'all don't know how many days I just want to cry, give up. God, this is hard. And he'd be like, Ann, come on, come on. Who crossed you down? <laughs> and see, that's what I love. I'm like, God, I want you to always continue to speak to me. Even when it's correction, just don't. Because if you don't hear from God, that's a silence that is just, whoo. Yeah, I love him to tell me, get it together, girl. But see, it's not about religion, it's about relationship. Yes. If you got a relationship with the Father, He will speak to you just like you told. Mm -hmm. King James Version, I, even though I quoted King James and New King James, that's not how He talked to you. You know His voice. Get yourself together. That's right. Because that's how I talked to Him. I, listen, and when you're in trouble, do you be like, oh God, I really need help? <laughs> Jesus and I got a friend who's sitting in this room who will quickly tell me girl get it together I ain't gonna call the names I ain't gonna look at it get it together <laughs> because sometimes the voice of God comes through people you love yes. Yes. and that's what they're there for to help you to guide you instruct you yes Holy Spirit lives inside you and he will remind you of the word. But guess what? If it ain't no word in there, what are you going to remind you of? Yeah. Come on. He can't bring back to your remembrance what ain't in there. Yes. Holy Spirit is a person. But he ain't no magician. <laughs> Give him something to remind. So you got to put in to get out. <laughs> Come on. Hallelujah. So I'm just asking you, challenging you. Do you know who you are? And when you do, encourage somebody else. That's what we're in this together. We're in the end game. Christians, unite. Let's come together. Love one another. Encourage one another. Forgive one another. So your prayers won't be hindered. Because if you don't forgive, you might well be talking to that wall because it ain't going nowhere. 
you can't walk in unforgiveness and ask God to bless. We say this, God don't bless no mess. Well, guess what? It may not be scriptural, but it's the truth. <laughs> you don't bless mess. And you can't keep trying to dance and shout over mess either. Okay. Holiness is still right. I don't know if I want to say that. It's still right. Still right. It's still right. So walk in love. Be obedient. Study a word. But if you don't remember nothing else I say, do you know who you are? Remember God told me, I don't see you as you were, but as you are. I love you to life.